Hey everybody, and welcome to Worth the View Movies. This is JD, your Viewmaster, and today I'm bringing to you a movie that is called The White Tiger. It's out on Netflix right now, but to bring in this great movie, I have Rob from Robbie's Reviews and the Fleming Film Podcast. Hello. To talk more about it. What are you, how are you doing, Rob? I'm okay, thank you, Justin. How are you? I'm awesome, man. Thanks so much. So what do you think of The White Tiger? It was quite good, to be fair. I like kind of the mix of... The, the the kind of visuals of Slumdog Millionaire mixed with a story of good fellas made for a satisfying crime drama with a little bit of satirics in there to make it quite humorous. I kind of wish Priyatra Chopra was in it longer because she is a good actress, but overall I think it was a good film. Yeah, and uh, what would you give it as a rating on my metric WTVM? I'll give it a WT. Okay, cool. Well, there you have it, everybody. Uh, go check out YouTube to get a fuller length uh, version of this and see what I thought about The White Tiger, uh, which I actually liked maybe just a little bit more. I'm giving, giving it a WT and a half. Um, I do agree that Priyanka Chopra wasn't utilized in, um, in a, you know, a bigger, larger scale, but I do think that what she did with her character was pretty powerful. You know, she, she really uh, um, kind of straddled the line of, you know, being being in this kind of hierarchy also, but being really sympathetic to a servant, you know, because the movie is based off of um, an epic uh, or it's a journey about a poor Indian driver who must uh, use his wit and his uh, cunning to break free from servitude to his rich masters and rise to the top of the heap where he, you know, his masters are. And he's really sick of like rubbing legs and rubbing feet um how do you feel about this uh, like servant part to, of this story well it's a good like callback because back then indians used to be servants and it's kind of a good callback yeah um you can see what kind of hierarchy they are based off of their bellies they say so if you're like you're super skinny then obviously you come from like a poverty stricken area but if you're like a big belly then that means you eat really well and probably do have a couple of servants so i thought that was interesting um how do you feel about the the lead actor in this movie i thought he was quite good at playing the character yeah he's he was in pretty much every single scene in this movie. Uh, and, you know, he's he's worried that he's never been taught about hygiene or how to be clean and, and, and you know, brush his teeth and uh, how, wear deodorant and stuff. So he's really trying to break into that. But his, like, teeth were on the screen and yellow and gross. And, like, they were showing that on, on purpose to show, like, what kind of, uh, you know, living situation he was going through but this is a coming of age tale still like he figures out how to adjust to you know living in a more lavish lifestyle um you know this movie does have a turn where you know something happens um what do you think of that twist we won't have we won't give it away but did you enjoy it and in, in where it ended up yeah it was a good twist yeah really um, brought the plot together. what was that really brought the plot to, together yeah, because when you're watching this, you're like, where is this going? And then, you know, you start to see some sort of, thing, sort of things unfold. Uh, right now, this movie is a 7.2 on IMDb. And for uh, the Rotten Tomatoes score, it's a 90% for the critics and 82 for audience score. Um, how do you think that is feeling? I think that's about accurate. Yeah, I think this is a, like a real... Not critic proof movie, but definitely critics are really going to enjoy this. And yeah, the audience score, because it is fun the way that they develop the characters is good, but also his kind of what we see him go through, but his narration over it um, and how, because you were right, it is kind of like Slumdog Millionaire, where uh, they tell backstories in like a fun way instead of this like straightforward kind of like storytelling way. Um, because it, it, it spans through some of the 2000s, 2007, and then 2010. So it really bounced around a lot. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this was a solid movie. I know that it has a lot of uh, social um, themes to it. Uh, I know Parasite is being uh, something that's very similar to the movie like this, as well as, you know, Slumdog Millionaire. But yeah, overall, I thought it was definitely worth the view. Do you think it may have any sort of like Oscar buzz at all? It's too early to, to say, really. Yeah, um, over the weekend, 
I know you you know watched it later, but did you see any sort of like critics talking about how maybe it would be or any talk about it at all? Uh, not at the moment, no. Yeah, I didn't really either. I think this is one of those like sleeper hits, you know, because um, it only has 106 uh, critics who wrote in on it. So it's not getting a lot of looks, but um, I do think that it will be talked about as as definitely a solid movie and coming from, you know, where it came from um, overall, I think it was good. Let's see real quick. I want to see who this director, if they directed anything, because um, this is based off of a book um that was written in the 2000s um yeah so he was a, he directed a movie called chop shop um but he was a producer for 99 homes and fahrenheit oh he's a director for fahrenheit 451 um which had michael shannon in it yeah and 99 homes also had michael shannon in it so yeah he's been around doing like indie movies and, and adapting books it looks like so that's what he likes to do the most so We'll keep a lookout for this person, Raman Bahrani. So, um, awesome. Anything else you want to say about uh, about the White Tiger? I do recommend people on Netflix to check it out if they fancy a film over this week. Yeah, and you know it's not an American film, so it's good to see you know like a different lifestyle and how people live and and deal with their lives. You know, so. Uh, yeah, I think it's actually kind of an important movie. I think everyone should really check that out. Definitely, they should. All right, uh, cool. Well, thanks so much for coming back to Worthy View Movies. Uh, tell everybody where they can find your stuff. No problem. I have started YouTube recently. Just type in me, my name, Robbie Fleming, and some videos should come up. I've also got Robbie's Reviews, my written reviews website, and my podcast, The Fleming Film Show, which Justin is technically my... Uh, side co-host <laughs> yeah i'll take sidekick too <laughs> uh yeah i've been on there a couple times and now that the award season is starting to build up uh, you and i will be doing more videos for that uh, or, or recordings for that also um yeah we did a on robbie's review we did a review for once were warriors 1994 which, which comes out the 28th which will be out soon on the 28th uh this week and then uh yeah check out the new youtube I've been really excited to see what we got going over there uh, with you, you know, talking about what's your what's your first topic? Uh, the New Mutants. Oh, the New Mutants. Oh, controversial. OK, can't wait to hear what you have to say about that. Uh, OK, well, good. So until next month, when we'll do this again with you, we'll uh, we'll see you next time here at the Worth of You Movies. Thanks, Rob, for joining. Thank you, Justin, for having me. All right, buddy. We'll talk soon. Talk soon. Bye bye.